All right, you guys, in today's video, I want to take a look at the all magnet motors that you see on YouTube and point out some of the common factors they always have and why they fail and we'll see if we can actually do something about it. Um, the first point I want to make is on all of these, they always have magnets on the rotor and the stator. And it's hard enough manipulating the field of a magnet, but when you put two of them together, um, that makes it even harder. You don't need that. You can use a simple steel plate uh, for your stator. Another thing that they all have in common is you cannot adjust anything. It's like you think of a pattern, you slap it together and hope you got it correct the first time. It doesn't uh, work that way with anything. Um, you could try rebuilding a carburetor. You know, without tuning it, it's not going to run very well. So you need a way to tune these to actually move them to where you need to. Um, also, another thing that they always use is they only use one side of the magnet. It's usually like north pushing a north or uh, south pushing a south or, or even pulling together or whatever. Um, they don't actually use the whole magnet, the whole body, which is you'd have to turn it on its side um, so you can get at that center part. The center part that actually is uh, what they call the neutral or the repel, as you can see here. I don't know if that's going to come through or not. Anyway, right, there's tons of videos like this on YouTube. And, you know, it's got to get frustrating just seeing stuff like this. Because this design here, you know it does not work. And there's tons of them. It's like, who wants to watch a video full of BS? You know, it's just a trick. And these people are just making money. This guy, uh, Mr. D here, he's got, he's been on uh, YouTube for like six months. He's got a couple videos and he's already got like uh, 50,000 uh, subs, you know, and this, <laughs> this stuff doesn't work. Anyway, for good people that are into it is James Roney. This guy's been around for years and he actually did something that was uh, a little unique. He created a monopole magnet um, by using shielding and a dead battery. Here it is right here. And it actually seemed like it was going to work. It's the closest thing I ever seen to working. But yet still, he didn't get it to work. Um, this guy hasn't been around for a while, so I'm not sure what happened to him. He did have the most recent video he, he made, I saw, but it was taken down. And he did say something very important in it. He said the reason his wheel didn't work before, he didn't know, is he didn't have a gross meter to measure the magnets, the strength of the magnets, and they were different. So if they're not equally pulling, you get a few weak ones in there. Yeah, it's it's definitely not going to work. Um, I never even thought of that. All magnets are definitely not created equal. All right, now a lot of people with engineering and physics backgrounds will say uh, an all magnet motor is impossible because it breaks the laws of thermodynamics. Um, in my mind, I'm like, 50 50 it could work maybe it won't it probably won't there's no harm in double checking as a matter of fact i'm not even sure it breaks any laws if you think of a say a solar panel yeah their source is the sun and it's got a lot of energy you're only getting a little bit of energy i would um as far as a magnet goes the ones i'm going to be using these a single one has 27 pounds i'll be using probably 36 of them total if I can get, say, out of 27 pounds, say I can get uh, two pounds of workout, I'd be fine with that. And I'm not really sure it breaks any laws because it is a natural force, uh, just like the sun, just like the wind, just like the river. We're just trying to capitalize on it. So if we avoid all the common problems or mistakes, if you want to call them that, and take full advantage of every option we can, uh, we might be able to get it to work. Um, here's a design that I'm thinking about that I'm actually going to make. It's I got my rotor, six magnets. Too many is not good either. But here's my stator, and it's just a metal plate. And it's got, say, a half inch here. Then it would be, say, maybe a quarter inch here. And then maybe an eighth of an inch down here. And it is adjustable, so you can tune it. And here's the the problem area that they all have, too, the sticky point, where... It's just going to hang up on there. Well, right now, we have two magnets trying to pull the one off. And maybe in the future, you'll need to use um, 
uh, say, a flywheel or something to help it. But we'll just take them uh, one at a time and see what happens. See if uh, the, the plate, the shear point, to get this magnet off of here, that's going to change too. Because there are things you can do to make it easier to remove that uh, magnet from that plate. For example, if this is my, my stator plate, and I'm trying to run the magnets off of here, it's going to stick right here. But you can change the shape um, to help shear it off of there. You could make it like something like this, or you could even go something like that, where it's on an angle, where it might come off a little bit easier. I'm going to test that separately. I won't be doing a video on that, um, because I'm not sure how it's going to, even if the bottom has to curl, you know, to bring it down. When the magnet moves across it, something, anything that'll give us an advantage to pull that off the easiest. And if need be, to take advantage of that center repel line, um, I'm going to show that later too. Um, the plate might even look like this, where it's got a little piece coming up on the end. And that would just push right off that center repel line. This is the frame I'm going to use. I'm going to take this apart. This is my old Bedini wheel. Um, I actually have two of these, so I don't mind taking this one apart. This one's got three inch magnets. My other one has four. So I'll take this one apart. It spins really nice. And in taking on this project, um, the rules are really simple. All magnets, no electricity, no, no wind, no frequencies, nothing to fake anything. This is going to be an honest video.